culture. So, you know, those are things to share. And, and I know it's becoming more common, but still, I feel like there are people out there. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm amazed when I meet somebody from town and they say, oh, I've never been out of the country. And I'm like, well, you, well, you should come to one of my shows at least, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because it's like, it's like, just educate yourself on what's out there. Um, and I guess, you know, just showing how women, you know, and, and I know you're going to ask this, I think, so I may as well just say it, but it's just also showing how women, you know, fit into the society. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, it's just showing them in their, in their, in the natural habitats and the natural beauty or, or working with, you know, carrying a bucket on their shoulder, you know, that's just what they do, but yet they're, they're, um, I don't know, they're, it's like, you see them in these beautiful clothing and it's just like, it blows your mind. You know, you're just like, I'd be wearing sweatpants if I was doing that, <laughs> but it's like, they're just so used to it, you know, and it's just, it's, it's just so lovely to see that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I just, I don't know why I find that so, so beautiful. I just want to share it. I think it is very powerful to be able to like share a different culture with people, especially like you mentioned people who have never been out of the country or who haven't right. been able to like experience it for themselves. I think it's wonderful that your paintings are able to like give people that. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. And I love uh, painting like fabric. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe that comes from being a designer. Like it, I just always love, you know, like the way fabrics fold and, you know, and I just think, again, I like texture. So I think it's like, you know, bringing the landscape with the built environment, with people, with their, you know, like it just kind of adds all these different elements of texture, mm -hmm. which I think is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, you gotta so have fun in your paintings, right? Yes. <laughs> You have to always enjoy the process, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned that you kind of moved back and forth between New Jersey and India. Yeah. Um, what was the most difficult challenge for you moving between like those two cultures? And were you able to overcome those challenges or is it something that you kind of still struggle with? Oh, I definitely overcame them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I have. And I, I think when I first moved here, it was it was complicated. Uh, you know, because I think my parents were young too, and they had never been here. And I feel like, um, I shouldn't say that my dad actually was here for a few years before um, I was born. But, um, you know, my mom, you know, would dress me in like this, like a beautiful silk dress and braid my hair with you know, like beautiful ribbons and mm -hmm. send me to school looking like that. And nobody was dressing like that. And, you know, so that was like a little complicated at first, mm -hmm. but, you know, she's, she's very with it to this day, God bless her. And she, she figured it out fairly quickly, you know, and um, then started making play dates for me and all. So, and then we moved back to India, uh, you know, and that was complicated too, because then I was a little bit more Americanized, I want to say, in the sense that, you know, I was here young, so it was, you know, I was, you know, um, speaking with a different accent and, you know, and then, not understanding everything that was being said and then I would pick up the language and we'd do great and then I would come back to the the U.S. so it was a little complicated but I think by the time so I think I was a little introverted which is hard to believe <laughs> I was introverted mm -hmm. but I think by the time I got to um, you know maybe you know um, end of middle school I started making some really good friends in town and I think um, because art I think has a tendency we tend we tend to gravitate to our kind of people we just do so all my friends uh became you know they're they, they're they're artists they're writers they're they are um you know actors you know they're they're just they're they do creative things and I never really felt different because I was hanging out with these people and you know because I grew up in um New Jersey in the 60s and 70s it was uh a time where they're really, you know, I, I graduated from high school. I was the only Indian person in the high school besides my, my older brother and my younger brother. Um, and so it's, you know, I never felt different at that point in my life. And that's something I like to highlight because I think we all feel, you know, there's a lot, there's always a lot of prejudice and whatever, but uh, somehow I was embraced by people and I was clearly different. Like I, I dressed different. I mean, I just, just because I was artistic, I, you know, I like to explore and I just dressed kind of weird. And I, um, I had, you know, black hair down to my butt and, you know, whatever, but I somehow I, I found my community, 
very young and I was lucky I was lucky because that doesn't happen for everybody mm. yeah I think it's probably very relatable for a lot of immigrant families or like children of immigrant parents to be kind of caught between the two customs or cultures absolutely it's all about finding your people wherever you are <laughs> wherever you are and I I do feel the world has changed like I said and I think we're way more accepting now uh we're uh, there's more curiosity, there's, there's more ethnic foods. Um, so, you know, I was almost embarrassed when I was growing up that my mom is making rotis and whatever. And then, you know, the neighborhood kids would come over and we would roll them up and eat them. And I'm like, oh, they like it. This is good. You know, like, you know, like you weren't sure how they would react to your customs. Right. So it's, it is true. Very true. It's very nice that you were able to like find your community so quickly. And you know, those friends are still my friends. Mm -hmm. I still talk to these people. My best friend is still from high school. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I've made obviously many other friends. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been staying still, but, but those people are important to me mm -hmm. because they were with me from the beginning. Yeah. So, kind of nice. Mm -hmm. um, so how did moving back and forth kind of affect your perception of the world or how does it kind of affect what you do in your art? I think it made me very comfortable in all situations. I love to, I am very comfortable, I'm very comfortable in almost any situation, which is, I think it's that, you know, when that back and forth and uh, different smells, different environments, constantly uh, different experiences mm -hmm. will make you so comfortable in almost any situation. Mm -hmm. So I feel very lucky to have had that. I think that's, that was actually like a good thing, you know, for life. Taught me a lot of stuff. You gained yeah. some kind of adaptability almost. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yes, I feel very adaptable. You know, <laughs> I think it's helped me with my career. Like I, I get along with everybody, whether, you know, um, being a designer, you know, I do a lot of, I, I do a lot of office space right now. I'm, I'm, I'm working on a hotel and banquet halls oh. here in New Jersey, mm -hmm. near, near your school, near, oh, wow. near, near Rutgers. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, and I feel like um, I can talk to president of a big company or, to the contractor or to somebody sitting in their cubicle, you know, with the same like love and respect that mm -hmm. I would have for anybody, because to me, we're all equal and we're all on the same plateau. And I think that comes from all the experiences I've had. Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, I, I like to, I like to think that I do that. Mm -hmm. That's important to me. And I think that makes me very comfortable around just about anybody. So mm -hmm. it must is, be really nice artistically too, to be able to like change direction if something isn't working super well. On the first yeah show. and you know what my, my painting series are quite different from each other they're all that they're in they're intersecting and i'm doing that on purpose mm -hmm. you know with the with the the women you know i always painted women so you know i was i'm involved with a uh, organization in uganda which which gets uh, young women off the streets and mm -hmm. and into some sort of programs whether it's going back to school or vocational training or something and um and that's something i got involved in oh you know well over 10 years ago mm -hmm. I was on their board for a long time an organization called Setter Free in the United States and I've been to Uganda several times and you know some of my earlier paintings are of Uganda <clears throat> the, the three women together those uh, in the fields but it's you know uh, it, that's just something the, the whole women thing I relate to my own gender I just do mm -hmm. and I feel like it's I feel like, you know, the, we all know about, you know, different, you know, we've all been suppressed, you know, yes, 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 you know, there's a lot of things, but, you know, it's just to see that in artwork is, is, I think, uh, empowering for me to, uh, to take, you know, women and put them into their art and show them in their different, you know, scenarios, whether it's happy playing, playing on the roof with a dog, you know, like, I think I did a painting like that, or, or uh, during COVID where I have an N95 mask when a woman sitting in the back of a, of a cab, you know, but it, that has many meanings to many people. And I, and I hope that my paintings will just sort of like people can get inside them and relate to their own story because you can bring almost any painting into your own story. I mean, I have my story. I know what those things are, but I want, I want people to have their own story with my paintings to be able to kind of relate to them in their own way yeah 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 exactly. exactly so aside from imprints of india you do also have this other series called strength and radiance which as you mentioned kind of focuses on women and their relationship to the world um yeah. and i think yeah. you kind of already talked about how these two themes kind of 
um, yeah. abstract or overlap in different paintings, but um, are there any things you do to kind of like push them together more or maybe just- I am, I am doing that, you're right. I, I've started doing that because um, I just feel like that's the series that really is important to me is showing women in their environment mm -hmm. and and also showing our plight in some ways. Mm -hmm. Like I have some thoughts about doing pregnant women now, you know, because there's, because all that makes me, you know, angry, but I'm not a political person. So I'm just, I don't want to, you know, but we have our own, you know, thoughts. I just want women to have agency over themselves. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, so there's all these thoughts about some new things to paint from that. And because of that, I want to continue uh, to show even if, you know, like, you know, if I'm looking, if I'm working from a picture, from a picture, like uh, there's this one painting I did of uh, the these two holy men mm -hmm. standing outside a small structure. And um, I was taken by them because when I took the photograph, it looked like there was a cross, even though it was just a telephone pole behind the, behind the building. I was like, oh, that's so cool. And I just took the picture and the holy men are like, like elderly Sikh holy men in uh, rural Punjab and um, as I was painting it I'm like I need to put a woman in this painting you know and I put this woman who's like reading a book sitting in the back mm -hmm. and you know and I it's like she's taking a back seat to what's happening you know so I think it's important that I do highlight women in my paintings mm -hmm. they're not in every one of my paintings but I, I want to highlight that I also want to start highlighting uh, the uh, the culture the women who are here in the U.S. So, mm -hmm. You know, there's all these little pockets of little India all over the place now. So I, I need to start highlighting that. I did one painting of a of a Sikh man in a gas station, but I actually sold that painting, so I don't have it anymore. But it's it's on my website, and it came out really cool. And I'm like, oh, you know, I need to do more of these, like like in in this environment. Mm -hmm. So like sort of so so I kind of see like these two things clashing together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do and see they, that. They work really well together in your painting. They do, right? So. It's a, it, yeah, thank you for noticing that. I appreciate that. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Yeah, I'm very excited to see even more from you in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Renee. I appreciate yeah. it. So our last question. Um, okay. What do you hope viewers take away the most from your pieces? Oh, the story. Mm -hmm. The story. I want them to look at it and say, let me just, I want them to look and I just don't want them to walk past it. I want them to stop and say, oh, there's a story here. What is this story? Mm -hmm. Why is this woman turning her head and looking at what's going on? Does she know that man? Mm -hmm. Or is she just wondering, should I put my mask on? <laughs> or should, you know, I don't know. I just want people to make their own story with my paintings, mm -hmm. you know, and I hope they enjoyed them. Yeah, it's very beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you. Well, thank you so much to Kiran for being here with us today. Um, we can't wait to see your work at our exhibition titled Color and Texture Anthologies of Artistry, which will be on view from August 27th to October 19th, 2024. Thank you so much again. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'm you so excited too, to see more of you in the future. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this time.